Hey guys, this is Dane from the Gunmetal Armory. Uh, today we are working on a SIG uh, extractor from a 220. A breech, this is the breech block from the SIG 220. And it has this extractor in it. And when I first pulled the extractor out of the breech block, it was perfectly straight. It had no bend in it. And after a lot of research and speaking to experts, I found out that these breech blocks actually need to have a slight bend in them for the gun to function correctly. So I've been using my little brass, my high tech little brass piece here to uh, put a slight bend in it. Kind of looks like a little chess piece, but anyways. Um, and uh, I put a, a bend back in it, as you can see, you know, it's got a little bit of a bend to it now which is a whole lot better. So um, what I need to do now is I need to put the breech block uh, down and pop the extractor into the breech block here. Now after I put the extractor into the breech block, I need to test uh, how much extraction or how much um, bend the extractor has on it or uh, how much tension, how much tension the extractor has uh, when you're pulling on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my little vise here and I'm going to pop it into here. And as you can see written on the vise, I need to, uh, it needs, the extractor needs to have roughly four to six pounds of pull, roughly four to six pounds of pull, um, for it to function correctly. But you can go up to eight or even nine pounds, according to some of the fine gentlemen I met on the, um, SIG forums. So... And again, sorry about the mess. Um, I, I, I'm in an active shop. You know, we uh, we work all the time in here. So sorry if it's messy. It is what it is, man. This is a this is a shop that's always working. So um, you know, if you don't like the mess, then whoop, whoop, whoop. if you don't like the mess, then don't watch. Let's see here. Sorry about that. Dropped my little my little guy there. Just need this to hold this for a second while I check the extraction um, force on there. All right. Let's see here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook my little piece of wire on here. Get that hooked on there and make sure it's on there nice and tight. Kind of hard to see without the light on the other side over here. Let's see there. You guys can probably see a little better than I can, to be perfectly honest. How's that? Is that on there good? Yeah, that's on there good. Alright, so. Let's go ahead and hook up our awesome fishing weight scale thingy here. This is what they use to uh, see how much fish weigh. And since I'm, you know, so rich from being a gunsmith, I decided to buy one of these. All right, so here's our extractor all hooked up. Uh, probably a little easier to see when I actually apply some light to it. Here's our extractor all hooked up, ready to go. And here's me pulling on the fishing thingy. Let's see if it gives us... Uh, Four to six pounds of deflection here. So about five, maybe six or so. So as you can see, it is pulling to about four to six pounds worth of deflection there. It would appear that we got this right. It would appear that it's working properly. So, I guess our next step would be to pop in something like a dummy cartridge like this and see if it's holding tension on there. Looks like it's holding tension on there the way that it should. If I'm... Uh, if I'm not a rocket scientist, you know, clearly I'm not, but it looks like it's holding tension properly. Let's go ahead and take it out of the vise here and 
Let's see what we got. Maybe get ourselves some better light here. Well, I mean, it looks like it's holding tension just fine. The way that it should. I mean, that's what we were going for. Before, there was absolutely no tension at all. Now, we actually do have some tension, which is nice. So, uh, anyways, that is one way to, uh, to do a good fix on a, an old SIG 220 and uh, get tension again on the extractor. God knows that that's a major, major pain in the butt to uh, keep those things running just fine. But they are tough, so it should work out. Um, I also want to mention I high polished the extractor in there to make it a um, little bit smoother when it's running over uh, shells and things like that. Make it, it makes it a little bit smoother, a little bit more high polished, a little bit nicer. So anyways, hopefully the, uh, the customer appreciates it. Hopefully the customer likes what he sees when it's all said and done. Anyways, um, this is Dane from the Gunmetal Armory. I hope you guys enjoy what you saw. See you next time as we go deeper inside the gunmetal armory. Good night.